welcome back to Cruising As Crew. So today we are gonna go through a few things that you need to take into a lifeboat with you if the situation occurs. Not what the cruise line tells you to take, which is nothing. What you actually need to take in a lifeboat if something happens, which of course is very, very unlikely. But if it does happen, you want to be prepared. So the first thing that you absolutely need to take into a lifeboat with you is lip balm. I know, lip balm. So when you are in a lifeboat, the water is rationed out, which we will get to a little bit later. But basically you are going to be dehydrated. Now the body obviously prioritizes the distribution of water to essential organs, like the heart, the liver, the brain. So because of this, the lips receive no water, so they're gonna dehydrate a lot faster which means they're going to crack. I don't know if you've ever, I mean, just having dry lips, like right now I'm like, oh, I need to put on lip balm because I'm very aware of my lips. <laughs> but if you've ever had dry lips, it's uncomfortable. If you've ever had cracked lips, it is excruciating. And lip balm or Vaseline can literally be the difference between you having horribly cracked lips and you feeling okay. If you're in a lifeboat for a long period of time, your lips are gonna be one of the first things that suffer. So lip balm, Vaseline, even better if you can take a big tub of Vaseline because there's gonna be a lot of people in that lifeboat with you and not everyone's gonna think to take lip balm. So lip balm, Vaseline, cream, anything. Obviously you can't, you can't be overloaded with stuff, but you should definitely take lip balm into a lifeboat with you. The second thing you need to take is like important documents. So I don't care if they say, you know, just take yourself. Obviously if the ship is like halfway in the water, then okay, yeah. But if you've got time, get your passport, get any like certificates you have, any visas, anything, like important documents you should always carry. And if not your passport, your driving license, like you should carry some kind of identification. So. You know, if you're in a lifeboat and you're rescued and you've got something to identify who you are. The third thing is sun cream and a sun hat. Now, most lifeboats, and not all lifeboats on a cruise ship, have a top, okay? It's no longer the lifeboats that you saw on the Titanic. Like, the lifeboats are a lot more robust now. But even so, you never know where you're gonna be sat on that lifeboat, so, if you're sat directly under the hatch or if you're sat where, you know, they take the roof off to let breeze in in the day, like let's say you're all like bobbing around on this lifeboat during the day and you're in the Caribbean, you know, but the sun is beating down on you. You're gonna want a sun hat, you're gonna want sun cream. Even if you're not, someone will be sat directly in the line of sun and they're gonna wish they had taken a sun hat or sun cream. Now this isn't like top priority, Lip balm is definitely more of a priority, but if you can, then you should. Number three is layers. So they always tell you to take warm clothing when you go into a lifeboat, which, you know, is true because most likely it's going to be freezing during the night time and it's going to be rather hot during the day. Even if like the outside temperature isn't boiling, you're gonna be crammed in a lifeboat with 300 people or you know, varying from cruise line to cruise line, during the day it's going to be hot. And then during the night it's gonna be just about bearable because you have so much body heat. So yes, you want to take warm clothing with you, but ideally you want layers. Because if you've got, you know, a thin t-shirt and then a big woolly coat, a thin t-shirt might not be enough during the day and a big woolly coat might not be enough during the nighttime. So it would be best to have a vest, a t-shirt, a sweater, a jumper, and then a coat. Now I know that's a lot to ask, but again, if you are in the position where you have time to dress appropriately, to get in the lifeboat, then do so. You want as many layers on as possible. Because then depending on what the temperature is, you just take off one or two layers. If you've only got two layers, you don't have as many options. And also, if you've gone on a Caribbean cruise, you probably haven't packed a coat. So in which case you need to layer up. If you find that actually it's hot and you have too many layers, there will be someone on the lifeboat who is missing a layer. If I ever was to be in a real emergency, I would have tights, then leggings, then 
I'd, I'd layer up. The next one is medication. So obviously the cruise line tells you to take any medication you take on a regular basis. You know, if you have diabetes medication or anything like that, of course you're gonna take that. What they don't tell you to take is stuff like paracetamol, ibuprofen, aspirin, pseudocrem, um, like ointments and stuff. And I'm not saying that you're necessarily gonna need these medications, someone else on the boat might and also it's better to have it and not need it than than need it and not have it so if you do have paracetamol or any any painkillers anything like that just take it with you the little sleeves of tablets they take up barely any space you can just shove them in a pocket so why not take them with you and if you or anybody else needs them then you have them then you wanna take extra water. So of course, there's only so much water that can fit in a lifeboat, so the water is going to be rationed out. So if you can take extra water on board with you, do it. Even if it's just another water bottle, like it's worth, it's worth doing. So if you can grab some extra water and take that onto the lifeboat with you, do it. Don't worry about food. We can last a lot longer without food, but we cannot last without water. So make sure you grab some extra water if you can. So those are the things that I would take in a lifeboat with me. But something else I wanna talk about is when a cruise ship goes into a state of emergency, you all go to your assembly station. If it's a real emergency, you're gonna get in the lifeboat pretty damn quick. However, most, most of the time, um, if it even gets to that level and all of the passengers have to go to the assembly stations, you're gonna be waiting there for hours because you're waiting for like, whether it's maybe the fire team are trying to put out the fire, maybe they're trying to fix the, um, the hole in the ship. Like getting in a lifeboat is the absolute last, last resort. So m the likelier thing is that you're gonna be sat in an assembly station for ages. Now, once you are in an assembly station, you can't be coming and going because you know, when you come in, you're checked in. So you can't just, you can't just leave. I would take some entertainment because most likely you're going to be sat there for a while. If you're called to an assembly station, take your phone, take a book. Um, even if you're going into a lifeboat, take a book. If you sat in a lifeboat, you're gonna have nothing to do. So some form of entertainment would actually be, would actually be good. Um, take a little bit of food for the assembly station, you know, don't, you don't really, you don't need to take food onto the lifeboat with you. But if you're gonna be sat in an assembly station for the next five hours waiting for the crew to put a fire out, you're probably gonna want a snack you're gonna want some entertainment, you're gonna want a drink. So before you even get to the lifeboat, you you will possibly have quite a lengthy wait in the assembly station. So just think about taking a little bit of, a little bit of entertainment with you. Uh, but anyway, those are the things that I would take into a lifeboat with me. Hopefully I never have to, hopefully you never have to, um, but if you do, then you know. But honestly, lip balm, before anything else, take lip balm in a lifeboat with you, even if you don't use lip balm on a regular basis. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.